A knot of nasty weather continues across the state of Alabama, where a particularly dangerous situation tornado watch box remains in effect until 3 a.m. for all of the counties that have been included since about 6 p.m. earlier this evening. We're going to take you on a radar tour across the state, and we're also going to look ahead at what you can expect in the morning hours of your Sunday. Some forecast changes that we need to pass along because we're likely going to have a lull of activity in terms of severe weather, and then some more storms are possible in the later morning hours of your Sunday, perhaps some that could be severe. Again, that's kind of a change uh, than what we advertised earlier and some ideas that were on the table earlier. And so we're going to look at what you can expect on Sunday, perhaps for a round three, yes, round three, of severe weather. Again, I know that everybody's tired of severe weather, and you, you have to believe me when I say I'm tired of it too, but right now out there we've got this PDS tornado watch box that's in effect. The good news is across southwest Alabama and northwest Florida, we don't have any active uh, tornado uh, warning polygons across our region, which is certainly some good news. So we'll take you down into uh, southwest Alabama, and uh, you should note that uh, the counties you see there shaded in orange are actually not under uh, severe thunderstorm warning polygons. Let me actually take those off so that that won't be uh, misleading. There we go. And again, a PDS tornado watch box continues for all of our local counties here in southwest Alabama until 3 a.m. And so if I call out your community, you're still in the watch. It's everyone. Thomasville, Jackson, Grove Hill, Chatham, also Vinegar Bend, Mobile, Daphne, Fairhope, Loxley, also uh, Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Crestview, Destin, Bruton, East Bruton, Flomaton, Century, Admore, also Evergreen, Leithian, Monroeville, over to Troy, Dothan, Enterprise, Op, also Andalusia, included in this PDS tornado watch that is valid until 3 a.m. If you want a broader view of what's happening across Alabama, you can see in the lower right-hand portion of your screen, counties in orange under a severe thunderstorm warning, counties in that dark shade of pink are where we have this very serious tornado watch that rolls on until 3 a.m. local time. In our region, the closest severe thunderstorm warning is up here in Choctaw County, just to the north of the Washington County line, approaching uh, places just to the south of Butler along State Highway number 17 there in Choctaw County where we have this severe thunderstorm warning. We also note we've got flash flood warnings in progress over in South Central Alabama. Andalusia Op Florala Wing included in that flash flood warning for uh, the very heavy rainfall amounts that have fallen over in Covington and Coffee counties and Dale and Henry counties due to a band of rain that moved through there a bit ago, dropping upwards of uh, three, four, five inches of rain in some spots. Again, there's your counties included in the flash flood warning that is on the board until uh, the wee hours of Sunday morning. Just seeing a few things here. We now have a new severe thunderstorm warning that's just been posted, and you're hearing the alarm go off. This is going to include the city of Thomasville. And again, the current time is 1124 here in the central time zone. I'm Sphinx Meganson. You're watching this live Red Zone Weather Facebook Live event. Here's your severe thunderstorm coming in to the city of Thomasville. We didn't expect to have to talk about uh, additional warnings, but nonetheless, here we are. And so let's zoom into Clark County. Again, there's Thomasville. Here's US 43. That's Alabama Highway number 154 that runs in the rural part of northern Clark County. This is US 84 and any of the three roads that I've just called out. You don't need to be driving on. Also, that includes State Highway 5, State Highway 10 near Yellow Bluff coming out of Camden and Possum Bend over here towards Pine Hill. Uh, again, severe thunderstorm warning that's just been posted due to a storm that could produce, produce, I should say, large hail and damaging straight line winds. This is northern Clark County where this severe thunderstorm is happening just to the north of Grove Hill. You can see the bypass in Grove Hill right there. And so Grove Hill up to the Marengo County line uh, just to the north of the Walmart here in Thomasville. You don't want to be traveling on 43 as we have a new severe thunderstorm warning that has just been posted. But we are here mainly to talk about the situation overall. Across Alabama, we've got several severe thunderstorm warnings in progress. We note that a portion of northern Greene and southern and uh, eastern Pickens County, just to the west of Tuscaloosa, also under a severe thunderstorm warning. And also, we've got some strong storms out here over central, uh, south central Alabama as well, just to the east of Luverne and Troy and Butler and Lowndes counties. Also, some flare-ups there in Perry and Dallas County and much of central Wilcox County as well as of 11.27 p.m right now. So here's what I want to do. Let's actually go to a different source and show you 
that as of right now, uh, we still have this moderate risk in place across our region, this level four out of five risk, a very rare situation, and the atmosphere remains very unstable. However, we note that a bit of good news, we're going to have a lull, most likely a lull of activity in terms of convective activity across South Alabama and Northwest Florida in the hours ahead. Now, we also could have a few more storms on your Sundays. You'll see in just a moment, but I want to caution you before you go to sleep, have a way to receive warnings across Alabama. Doesn't matter if you're in the orange, if you're in the yellow, or if you're here in the red zone in this, in, uh, in this moderate risk per se. That, that word doesn't do it justice, by the way. This is a very serious potential or somewhat rare risk across much of South Alabama. Bruton, Evergreen, Monroeville, Thomasville, down to Mobile, all included in that level four out of five risk that is valid for the next few hours. All right, so over to the other source we go, and this is a model viewer. And as we've cautioned many, many times, timing and placement could be off. And so uh, what I want to do is show you uh, this is valid at uh, 2 a.m. And this is coming off the high resolution rapid refresh model. And if this model happens to be correct, again, it shows much of the activity well to our east. And you note this lull of activity across much of southwest Alabama and northwest Florida as of about 2 a.m. We'll advance the model uh, forward in time. This is valid, let's see, at uh, 12Z, which is 6 a.m. local time. And you can see that if this happens to be correct, we've got showers and storms bubbling up across uh, a portion of our region. Now, we'll move it forward uh, to 8 a.m. You can see that we've got this cluster of storms moving in from the west. Some of these could be severe, but here's the good news. After this band of storms gets through on late Sunday morning into perhaps the first few hours of Sunday afternoon, finally, finally, our severe weather threat will end. Now, I know we indicated earlier that uh, Sunday would be a better day, and it will be in the late evening hours, but understand we got to get through this next little band of potentially severe storms uh, capable of producing damaging straight line winds and maybe even a brief spin up tornado as it moves through. Uh, we'll move the model forward. This is valid at uh, 15Z, which is actually nine o'clock local time. If this happens to be correct, you can see a cluster of storms in progress across southwest Alabama and northwest Florida. And we'll be watching these storms with particular interest out ahead of the main cluster of storms to see if those decide to rotate. Certainly a, a possibility, and we observed some of that earlier uh, in terms of rotating storms that produce tornado warnings and that type of thing. And like I said, the good news is at about, say, uh, let's see, this is valid at noon. And so you can see that much of the action is kicking off to the east with much of the action still encompassing uh, a good bit of central Alabama. You can see there, if this happens to be correct, very heavy rain moving through central Alabama as, the, as of the noontime hour on Sunday. But I wanted to show you this because uh, you need to have a way to receive warnings before you go to sleep. One fantastic way is our red zone weather text. Another great way that will wake you up, see our text won't wake you up, but the, uh, the system that is uh, the weather radio app that is available on the Android and iPhone app stores. It's Weather Radio, and it's a fantastic app put out by WDT Inc. available on both app stores. It's fantastic. Also, have your NOAA weather radios on if you have one of those. So that's the deal, just in case we have any storms that flare up in the overnight hours or on Sunday morning when, again, we could have uh, more storms move in just like this. Again, this is one idea on the table. Timing and placement could be off as this is a model. And so let's go back to the radar as we conclude things. Again, moderate risk, uh, our level four risk, I should say, of strong to severe storms. That continues, as does the particularly dangerous situation tornado watch. And uh, uh, we note that we've got a lot of heavy rain across our region, but many of these storms are under severe limits. Here's Escambia County, Monroe County, Connecticut County, and uh, again, lots of color in there, but these storms, the good news is, under severe limits for now. The only severe storm we have on the board in our coverage area is right up here in Clark County, where we have this severe thunderstorm basically on top of Thomasville, capable of producing upwards of dime to penny size hail and also damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. And again, that's basically right on top of Thomasville at the moment. We'll zoom in and show you this uh, briefly. And this is really tight in the Thomasville area. This is 43. That's Alabama Highway 5, Alabama 154 right here. Uh, you have got 
uh, several other smaller roads, uh, including Noble Avenue and West Front Street and Sphinx Drive. How about that? In Thomasville, right in here, where large hail could be happening right now. And so if you have hail pictures, certainly don't go out and get those uh, right now. But if you happen to have some hail and that sort of thing, shoot us a picture on Twitter at RZ Weather. Also on Facebook, we will look at this live stream after we conclude and share those picture on, pictures, I should say, on Twitter as necessary. Again, Thomasville is the only... Uh, larger community that we have included in this severe thunderstorm warning. This does clip Grove Hill, however, I should say, so that's a, that's a correction. But again, 154 in, 43 in, 84 in. So no travel in Clark County on those three major roads. And again, this is the only warning that we have on the board as of right now. We will conclude our live feed this evening. This is the last time most likely that we will see you until the morning, most likely. But again, across the region, heavy rain in progress in portions of the eastern uh, side of the coverage area, Evergreen, down to Bruton, down to Berrydale, down to Munson, all of those areas having pretty heavy rain right now. But that doesn't mean it's severe. It's not. And that's good news as these showers and storms continue pushing off to the northeast. Again, three main things you need to know before you go to sleep. Number one, first and foremost, have a way to receive those warnings. Weather radio is fantastic and no weather radio is also fantastic. Number two, tornado watch going to continue until 3 a.m. Number three, we could have more severe storms in the morning hours, so don't let your guard down. I promise, I promise. After that round of storms moves through, much more stable air will be filtering in behind the line of storms that moves through in the morning, and we will finally, finally begin to dry out and have much more better weather for your Monday. And so that's the deal uh, in terms of what's ahead. Again, lots of heavy rain across the region, but for now, the only severe thunderstorm warning as of 1134 p.m. is for over here in Clark and Wilcox counties and a portion of Choctaw County with a separate polygon as well. If we have for further tornado warnings, we will, of course, keep you posted here on Facebook Live. And if we have further tornado warnings, we will send out a Red Zone Weather uh, text as well to let you know about that. On behalf of all of us at Red Zone Group LLC, I'm Sphinx Meganson saying goodbye for now. Have a great evening and sleep well. Again, have a way to receive those warnings.